Do you want to improve at a quicker pace? Check out getgoodracing.com. I've coached hundreds of drivers from real life racers to sim enthusiasts who experience rapid improvement after just one session. And while investing in top-notch hardware is great, imagine how much more you can elevate your experience by adding coaching to the mix. My methods are practical, aiming to break down complex concepts into easily digestible bits that are simple to understand. You can find reviews of the sessions I've conducted on the Fiverr link provided in the video description. Let's elevate your racing skills together. Now for the track guide. For turn 1, what I'm using as a reference for braking is the number 1 board on the right side. At the number 1, I'm applying the brakes, but what's important to do in this corner is to use as much as you can the inside curb. So, I'm trail braking into the curb and at this point still on the brakes. I try to cut this as much as it's possible because ideally you want your exit to be somewhere around the center part of the track. You don't want to be all the way to the right side because this corner is gonna be compromised now. So, in this complex of corners, this is the one that has the highest priority. We need to keep the minimum speed up and you're gonna do it by being early and confident on throttle. So right now, in between the corners, I'm trying to give this 100% blimp on throttle and then be back again on the brakes. So the rhythm is brake in the first initial part, then cut as much inside curve as possible, then give it a blimp of throttle and then break again into the second one. So let's see it in action. Braking, cutting, going on power, braking, and again power. And notice that I'm not going super wide on the exit initially. I use all the track on the exit whenever I'm already at 100%. But let's call it on the early exit, I'm not on the left side. So you will use this pit exit white line around here. You don't want to go more on the left. You want to keep 100% power and then the car will naturally drift to the outside. But don't drift very early because otherwise you're going to lose a lot of lap time by covering a longer distance. Going into the next corner again, the board with number one is going to be our reference for braking. Here, this corner is quite, quite tricky. You want to stay in fourth gear with the fixed setup. So if you have fixed setup, fourth gear, even with open setup, I think this is going to be a fourth gear corner just because minimum speed is everything with this car. So keeping the minimum speed up, so we will have more downforce and having more downforce, we will have more grip. And very important to trail break into lower percentages and cut this one like this. I cut it all the way through and immediately put the power down to 100% throttle. Like right now I'm at 100% and super, super important is to cut this inside curb as well. Almost going over the grass in front of you like that with the left tires because you will be able to maintain this 100% throttle and this will be the goal into this corner. So using all the track on exit and notice that I didn't drop the throttle. This is the input that you're looking for. Going on power, go arriving very quickly at 100% and then maintaining it. For the next corner, my reference for braking is the end of the white wall right here. So after the white wall, I'm applying the brakes. I brake in a straight line initially. I want to use this right side part, the right side of the white line. And then again, it's a team in this first couple of corners, you want to cut as much as you can this red curb. So putting all the left side of the car on it. And after the curb, I want to stay at 100% throttle. So in third gear, keeping it 100% and not dropping it like that. This is going to be key. And if you find yourself that you're able to do that, then you're not cutting enough and you're arriving more on the right side. And that's the reason why. Going into the next chicane, my reference for braking here, you can brake kind of late into this corner. So I'm braking in the middle of the bridge. So whenever I'm on the bridge, like right now, I'm applying the brakes. I want to brake initially in a straight line. So I'm using this exit road on the left. And in fourth gear, I'm taking this corner by going very close to the white curbs. You don't want to touch the first one because the car will be unsettled and it will jump more in the middle of the track, which is not helpful. 
instead you want to get very close to the first white curve the big one and on exit when you put the power down you can cut the second one like that you can barely kiss it and it's gonna be fine so you will you will be a lot quicker if you're gonna use a bit the second curve but not the first one look at the power though this is something that you want you want whenever you go on power you want to stay what at 100 without doing correction now going into the hairpin my reference for breaking here you can break very late it's in the middle between number two and number one so around here it's definitely looking at the number one at, th at this point and very very important you want to maximize the efficiency of the straight line braking you want to brake in a straight line and keep the car parallel to the white line while you're doing the heavy braking because the heavy braking is up until now right now i have 50 percent braking so i'm starting to turn a lot of drivers are already turning to the right side even though whenever they have a bit of a lot of braking force so you want whenever the braking force is at its highest point keep the steering wheel straight relax your hands and then when you're bleeding off the brakes to turn i miss a bit the apex around here it's not gonna be such a big deal if you're gonna miss it if you carry the right amount of speed but i would suggest brake a bit earlier and you'll be fine because I also had to do this throttle modulation, which was not ideal. And going into the last chicane, the reference for braking here will be the number two board. And it's the same thing. You want to brake in a straight line initially. So I'm braking just a bit past the number two, braking in a straight line, still parallel to the white line. I want a late, late apex. So notice that I'm still going straight and now I'm starting to turn. And it's very similar to that chicane before the bridge. You don't want to touch too much this white curb around here, but you can use this one. So the second curb, the second white curb you can touch, but the first one it will be ideal not to touch because you want the car to be stable in that part of the corner. And in short, that's a track guide for Montreal with the Super Formula lights. I hope you'll have a great week ahead and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.